Hello, peoples. Today we have the Oscar nominations. It's a big, it's a big one for the award season. Well, it's the biggest one for the award season. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm gonna be skipping throughout the video because I know they're gonna draw this out, unless they're just gonna give it to us, you know, really fast. But yeah, let's just get right into this. Make sure my screen recording is on real quick. I think it is. And let's check one more time. Yeah, it is on. So let's watch the Oscar nominations. You from the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures at the entrance to the Oscars experience where you'll soon be able to feel all the excitement of standing on the Oscar stage yourself. With the museum's official opening coming this fall, fans will explore okay. all the nominees are selected by members of the Academy. I know. I'm delighted to share that this year's Oscar ceremony will take place April 25th at both LA's historic Union Station and the landmark Dolby Theater. Got it. And now it's time to deliver what you've all been waiting for, the nominees. Priyanka and Nick, over to you. Okay, here we go. Turn it down a little bit. Thank you so much, David, and good morning. Although we're in London, so it's afternoon here. But regardless of the time of day, it's a moment that each of these nominees will never forget. Absolutely. Good night. First up, the nominees chosen by members of the Academy. Ooh, actress, okay, that's an interesting one. Actress in a supporting role. Maria Bakalova okay, in yep. Borat's subsequent movie film. Delivery of prodigious bribe to American regime for make benefit once glorious nation of Kazakhstan. Don't tell me they're going to read that every single time. Glenn Close in Hillbilly Elegy. People were thinking that she was going to get snubbed. Olivia Colman in The Father. Okay. Amanda Seyfried in May. Okay. And Ye Jung Un in Okay. Minari. So, who, who here was snubbed? <laughs> because I know this category this year was a mess. Let me get my... Um, I, I just go to my Critics' Choice nominations because they literally nominated everyone. So, Critics' Choice this year, when it came to nominations, didn't really tell us much. But Supporting Actress, so no Ellen Bernstein, Glenn Clo So basically, they're frontrunners. Okay. <laughs> Next category. Voted by the Academy's okay. costume designer branch. Emma. Okay. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Okay. Mank. Okay. Mulan. Yeah. And Pinocchio. Ah. <laughs> okay, whoa. Um what I'm not seeing is um Promising Young Woman, you know, which is kind of snubbed, but, um, and Pinocchio, okay, I don't think Mulan deserves to be here. The okay, next category. And now here are the nominees for Best Original Score. Okay, here we go. The Academy's Music Branch. Defy Bloods. Uh. Mank. Okay. Minari. Okay. News of the world. Okay. And soul. This is. Oh. oh. Tenet isn't here. Oh God. Why? <laughs> Tenet was my personal favorite movie score of the year, and so, and I I've seen it's my, my favorite. I think it beats. I've seen all of these actually, and I think Tenet score beats all of these like without a doubt but um yeah i'm a little mad um but uh just get rid of the, the five bloods and put in tenant like tenant definitely deserves this like what the heck so exciting so fun the writers branch nominates screenplays in two award categories best adapted screenplay and best original screenplay first is best adapted screenplay Borat's subsequent movie film, Delivery of Prodigious Bribe to American Regime for Make Benefit Once Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan. Okay. Sasha Baron Cohen, Anthony Hines, Dan Swimer. They are Peter seriously Mayer, nominating. Erica Rivinoya, Dan Mazur, Jenna Friedman, and Lee Kern. Story. Oh my god, <laughs> we get it. Cohen, Anthony Hines, Dan Swimer, and Nina Pedrad. 
the father. Okay. Christopher Hampton Thank you. And Florian Zeller. Nomadland. Okay. Chloe Zhao. One night in Miami. Kemp Powers. Okay. And the white tiger. Ramin Berani. Haven't seen that, yes. so I really can't say. Um, okay, let's go back about five seconds, play One that again. Sorry, I need to... Kemp Powers. And the White Tiger, I don't why. Okay, let's see who... Did they snub anyone? I'm glad to see News of the World is not here. I, I, I don't like that movie too much. Uh, One Night in Miami makes sense. I'm glad the father's here. And, of course, no Ma Rainey, but they, you know, they only nominated five. But Borat, like... It's, it's a funny movie and all, but it's, it's getting a lot of hype. Give me... One second, I need to let in my cat. She is just murdering me right now. So let me stop the thing at the same time. So be right back. Sorry, forgive me. Um, my cat, I don't know, she was freaking out. Don't ever get a cat. <laughs> They're the worst. <laughs> but anyways, this adapted screenplay category, Borat doesn't make too much sense to me. Haven't seen White Tiger. Father makes sense. No Madland makes sense. My, One Night in Miami makes sense. Um, Minari's not here. You know, a lot of people are going to be mad about that. Wait, that's adapted. That's original. Sorry. Um, News of the World, thank God that's not there. And I haven't seen First Cloud. Ma Rainey's not here, but so far, it's not too much of a mess, but boy, it just doesn't make any sense to me. So, next category. Oop, I don't want to search anything. And the White Tiger. Yep. Ramin Berani. Will okay, Judas and the Black Messiah. Shaka Whoa. King. Story by Will Burson, Shaka King, Kenny Lucas, and Keith Lucas. Wow. That's a big Minari. one. Lee Isaac. Minari, there we go. Promising young okay, boy. yep. Emerald Finem. We're going to get Mank, and then Trial. Sound of Metal. Oh. Darius Martyr and Abraham Martyr. Are they snubbing Mank? Story. By Darius Martyr and Derek Sienna. They're gonna snub Mank. It hasn't had a you know much of a and run. The trial of the yep, Chicago there you go. Seven, Aaron Sorkin. Aaron Sorkin. Well, um, there was an upset yeah, with Judas. <laughs> well, since you did two in a row, I think I'm going to announce two short film categories, both overseen by the short films and feature. I don't well, I, <laughs> I don't you know do, know what any of these are. The letter. Congratulations to everyone. Congratulations, now, I don't know what you are. The nominees for an actor in a supporting role. Okay, Julia is all that really needs to be here. And Sasha. Sasha Baron Cohen yep. in The Trial of the Chicago 7. Kaluuya, probably next. Daniel Kaluuya yep. in Judas and the Black Messiah. Don't want whoever else they decide to nominate. Leslie Odom okay. Jr. in One Night in Miami. Paul Racy? Paul Racy in Sound of okay. Metal. And Lakeith Stanfield in Judas and the Black Messiah. Congratulations. Hmm. We still have more. Hey, wait, did they just do two Judas and Men the Black Messiah? And Lakeith Stanfield in Judas and Who who did Lakeith Stanfield play? I don't know who that is. I'll have to look that up after, but I keep that in mind. Lakeith Stanfield. A supporting actor. Who's supporting actor? That was really good. I, I don't remember. Black Messiah. Messiah's doing really good here. We still have more. There we go. Welcome back. Or if you just got up and are joining us now, welcome. Let's continue with the nominations. Members of the Academy's documentary branch have chosen these. Well, I don't know. <laughs> for best documentary short subject, here are the nominations. Wait, it's totally under control nominee. Octopus teacher. And time. And of course, as they famously do, they snub the front runner. <laughs> the, well, it's the only one I saw, but that's great. For best documentary short subject, here are the nominees. I don't know the any of these. The nominees for best international feature film. Okay, all we need is. I'm just gonna skip ten seconds. Around, Denmark. Okay, I'm sure Better all I need to see is Minari show up. Collective Romania. Okay. The man who sold his skin. Tunisia. Wait, sorry, I forgot that Minari doesn't count here. Very nice. Could I just skip this? Well thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Minari doesn't count here. I completely forgot. The sound branch of the Academy 
Chooses okay, the sound. The best achievement in sound. They are Greyhound. Okay. Mank. Okay. News of the world. Okay. Soul. Okay. And sound of metal. Mm. The production design branch nominates these films for right. best production design. And I just wish, like, I'm a huge tenant guy. Like, I know it's not a perfect movie and all that, but I like its technical craft is undeniably great. And they're kind of snubbing it for at least um, score so far. And um, what, what, what do we just do? Um, sound. Well, I know the sound mixing itself wasn't something that. Okay, that's understandable, I guess. Production design. The father. Okay. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Okay. Mank. Okay. News of the World. Okay. And Tenet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Here are the nominees for Best Film Editing. Chosen by members of oh, the Oh, Tenet better be nominated for this because it's editing. It's not going to get it. May, well, maybe. The father. Okay. Good. Thank no you. Mad Mad. Okay. Promising young woman. Okay. Sound of metal. So they're gonna snub tenant, I bet. And the trial of the Chicago Seven. Yep. Thank you. Snub tenant. The Academy's cinematogra cinematographers branch nominate the following for best cinematography. Oh, all we need to see here is Nomadland because that's what's gonna win. Judas and the Black Messiah. Okay. Mank. Okay. News of the World. Okay. Nomadland. Okay. And the Trial of the Chicago Seven. Okay. Lots of nominations. Lots of nominations. The visual they kind of messed up that cohort category. These films to be the nominees for Best Visual Now, effects. Tenet better be nominated here or I'm going to lose it. Love and Monsters. Oh. The Midnight Sky. Haven't seen that. Mulan. <laughs> That's laughable. The one and only Ivan. Haven't seen it. And Tenet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. When you think of me, you naturally think of best makeup and hairstyling. However, they didn't of let course. me vote. Uh, instead, the members of that Academy branch nominate the following films. Emma. Okay. Hillbilly Elegy. Okay. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Okay. Mank. Okay. And Pinocchio. Ah! <laughs> um, Promising Young Woman? Yeah. I'm... <laughs> Pinocchio, best picture. Go ahead, just do it. This next category is voted on by Short Films and Feature Animation Branch, as well as members of the animation community across all branches here are the nominees for best animated oh, all we need to see here is soul onward okay over the moon okay a sean the sheep movie farmageddon <laughs> that's a great title soul yep and wolf walkers okay soul's gonna win and now here is the other category Voted on by the music branch. Here are their nominees for original best song. Original song. Where is that? Fight for you, Judas and the Black Messiah. Yep. Hear my voice from the trial of the Chicago Seven. Okay. Husevik from Eurovision Song Contest. The story yeah, of the fire song. EOC scene okay. from the life ahead. La Vita Devanti. One night in Miami. And speak now for okay. one night in yep. Miami. For actor in a leading role, the actors branch members nominate. Here we go. Riz Ahmed in Sound of Metal. Thank you. Chadwick Boseman. Yep, and there's Mark your winner. He's gonna sweep the season. Anthony, Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins. Yep. In the Father. Gary Oldman. Okay. In May. Steven Yoon. And Steven Yoon. There you go. Wow. Movie. Good job. Congratulations to all those incredible nominees for actress in a leading role. The nominees are... Okay. It's a mess of a category right here. 
Viola Davis okay. in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Andra Day. In the okay, she better not win. She's not gonna. She's just gonna go to Mulligan. Vanessa Kirby in Pieces of a Woman. Okay, McDormand and Mulligan. Francis McDormand in Nomadland. Yep, and Mulligan. And Carrie Mulligan in Promising Young Woman. All amazing performances. For directing, the Academy directing. Directors Branch has chosen to Okay, let me get to the. Wait, let me pause this. It's a big one. <laughs> and I have it. It's okay. It's all the way over here on my thing. Another round. Wow, <laughs> I haven't seen that, but David Fincher. Okay. Rick. Lee Isaac Chung, Minari. Yep. Chloe Zhao, Nomadland. And Aaron Sorkin. And Emerald Fennell, Promising Young Woman. Mm. Sorkin. <laughs> You know, I, at first I wasn't too fond of Trial of Chicago 7. I watched it again and I absolutely, I, lo I watched it twice within like the same three days. Like, uh, God, I, I loved, you know, like, it's funny, like, I, I haven't seen another round, but um, I've seen all of these and none of these are necessarily my favorite. Out of, well, my favorite out of all of these is Minari for sure. My ranking of these directors is, I mean, of these movies is Minari, no Madland, Promising Young Woman, The Mank. And I like all of them, but, you know, it's just, you know. Uh, the Father's not going to get nominated for Best Picture, I don't think. Just as the acting categories. Finally, the or maybe. For best picture voted by all members Here we go. Ready? Ready? Yes. The Father. Thank you. David Thank you. <laughs> Jean-Louis Levy and Philippe Carcassonne, producers. Thank you. Judas and the Black Messiah, Shaka King, yeah, Charles Judas D. King, Judas is doing really Cooper, good here. Producers. Mank, C.N. Chafin, Eric Roth, and Douglas Urbanski. Producers. Okay. Minari, Christina yep. O. Producer. Nomadland. Yep, Francis and your winner. McDormand, Peter Spears, Molly Asher, Dan Janvi, and Chloe Zhao, producers. Promising Young Woman. Yep. Ben Browning, Ashley Fox, Emerald Fennell, and Josie McNamara. Sound of Metal? Producers. Sound of Thank Metal. You. Thank you. My Bert favorite out of all of these. And Sasha Ben Harosh. Well, The Father's my favorite. Second favorite, sorry. And last, The Trial of the Chicago yep. Seven. Mark Platt and Stuart Besser, producers. Woo! Well, I am okay, well, um, I think we could say goodbye to, um, Trial of Chicago 7, who's gonna, no man land's gonna win, but I think we could say goodbye to Trial of Chicago 7, let me stop this screen recording real quick. We could say goodbye to Trial of Chicago 7 for, um, picture, because that's just not gonna happen anymore. That was, like, the possible upset, but it looks like no man land will definitely sweep the season. Judas and the Black Messiah got a lot of love here. A lot of love. Let me see. Who is that one actor that got nominated for supporting actor? And I just don't know who he was. I'll recognize him once I Google him. But, um, yeah, nothing to shake up. There was a couple technical categories where I wish Tenet got in. But, you know, I'm one of those all hail Nolan people. So, you know, um, who, who's the supporting actor, though? What do you mean? He's the lead of the movie. Why is he being not? That doesn't make any sense. The lead of the lead of the movie just got nominated for best actor, but <laughs> I mean supporting actor. That doesn't make any sense. But he did give a good performance, though. Maybe they just wanted to, you know, throw him in there. But yeah, these nominations. There's nothing too terribly terrible. Um, the actress categories. Like I could have probably guessed all of that um picture basically went as planned director though another round um i haven't seen that but didn't see that coming Let's see um borat getting a supporting actress was shocking to me i didn't think um i guess she has an actual she's probably gonna win the oscar i want to call it she's gonna win the oscar um 
they didn't have to do young actors. Sorry, I'm looking at the Critics' Choice right now. I have to remember. Um, supporting actor, basically, of course, with the lead of Judas getting the supporting actor nomination, it didn't really make too much sense. I'm glad Paul Racy got in there and Sacha Baron Cohen. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, Sorkin did not get director, and um, that's where another round got in. Screenplay. I knew I didn't they do something kind of crazy here. Wait, where was that adapted screenplay? I'm glad that the News of the World did not get much because I was not the biggest fan of that movie. Um, production design. Nothing too crazy happened there. But yeah, you know, those are my reactions to the Oscar nominations, and. Yeah, so well, it basically overall it went how I expected it to go. Like there was a couple like uh, ah moments, but um, yeah. Anyways, that is my reaction to the ninety third Oscars nomination. So I'll be doing a reaction, of course, to the actual Oscars. So like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that. And adios.